<laughs> Many years ago in the land of Transylvania, there was a village. Many of the people in the village were Unitarians, but they did not have a church building to gather in. So they decided they would work together long and hard to build themselves a church. The stonemasons hammered sharp chisels to cut great blocks of gray stone, then the stones into stout and sturdy walls. The glazers made tiny glass panes and fitted them neatly into the windows with leaded lines. The carpenters carved wood for the pair of wide opening doors, setting them on strong pegs so that the doors hung straight and square. The bell was brought from a faraway city, then hoisted by ropes with a heave and a hoe to the top of the lower. The weavers uh, wove fine cloths on the altar table, cloths embro embroidered with flowers and edged with lace. The smiths hammered black iron into the tall lampstands and hammered thin bronze into shining oil lamps. Finally, when the building of the church was done, the painting of the church would begin. The painters mixed bright colors, royal red and shimmering gold and brilliant blue, and everyone in the village, old and young, women and men, boys and girls, came to decorate the church. They painted flowers, they painted trees, they painted designs around the windows, different designs around the doors. And all, and at the end of the day, when it was finished, when their church was finally done, all the people of the village stood back to admire it. We will eat now, announced the elder of the village, because everyone was hungry after their long day's work. And later tonight, we will come back to pray. So the people of the village went down the hillside to their homes and their suppers, all except one little girl named Zora and her father who stayed behind. They had brought their own bread and cheese. They ate their food slowly, sitting on the grass on the hillside and admiring the new church with the st strong stone walls, its tower, and its magnificent bell. After they had eaten, they went back inside, opening those carved doors to go into the gloriously painted sanctuary inside. Oh, look, Father, Zora cried, running from the picture to picture with her footsteps echoing in the stone walls. See how pretty the church is. She stopped in the center of the church, twirled, slowly twirled, twirled around and said, see how grand? Yes, it is, said her father, looking around and nodding with pride. Yes, it is. But father, she said suddenly, we have not finished. What do you mean? There are tall iron lamps uh, stands all along the walls, but there are no lamps. The church will be dark when people come back. Ah, no, little one, said her father. The light of the church comes from its people. You shall see. He rang the bell to call the people to worship. Then they took uh, his daughter by the hand and led her back outside. They waited on the grassy hillside next to their beautiful church of strong gray stone. The sun had set behind the mountains and night was coming on. Yet in the growing darkness, tiny points of light came from many directions and moved steadily up the hill. Each family is entrusted with a lamp, little one, her father explained. Each family lights its own way here. Where's our family lamp? Your mother's carrying it. She will be here soon. The many lights move closer together, gathering into one moving stream, all headed the same way, growing larger and brighter all the time. Zora, Zora, uh, Zora's mother arrived, bearing a burning oil lamp in her hands. The father lifted Zora so she could set their family's lamp high in its tall iron stand. All around the church, other families were doing the same. Soon the church was ablaze with light in every corner, for all the people of the village had gathered to pray and sing. All through the worship service, Zora watched the lights flicker and glow. She watched her family's lamp most of all. 
When the service was over, her father lifted her high. She took the shining bronze lamp from the lampstand. Its curved sides were warm and smooth in her hands. Her mother carried the lamp home with the uh, flame lighting the way. The lamp flame lit their house when they returned home. Zora washed her face and got ready for bed by the light of the flame. Mother, Zora began as she climbed into bed and lay down. Yes, little one, her mother asked, tucking her wool blanket around Zora's shoulders. Father said the light of the church comes from its people. Yes, but also the people take their light from the church. Over on the table by the fireplace, the shiny bronze lamp was still burning, and we have that light every day. Yes, indeed, said her mother, and even when we are not in church, even when the lamp is not lit, we carry the light of truth in our minds and the flame of love in our hearts to show us the right way to be. The light, the light from the truth and love will never go out. Years passed, Zora grew, the bronze lamp came into her care. She kept it polished and clean, and when the bell rang out across the valley to call the people to worship, she carried the lamp back and forth to the church on the hillside, the flame always lighting her way. When the time came, she made more lamps and gave them to her children, who made more lamps and gave them to their children, and so it went on through the years even until today. Now, today is a special day at UUCDC. Today, we talk about where we've been, all we've been through together, and we celebrate our bond as a community. And we think about the future, where we want to go, and what resources we need to get there. In your order of service, you'll find a light bulb. This is your light, the light you bring to UUCDC each Sunday. I want you to think specifically about what you bring to our congregation. What do you, do you bring love, caring, enthusiasm, curiosity, or questioning? Do you bring your time volunteering? Do you bring financial support? Now after the service, after the service, I encourage you to visit the fun drive table out in Fellowship Hall. There will be markers for you to write your ball. Tell us what light you bring to UUCDC. Thank you for listening to our story this morning.